Okay, guys, as for previous story, although very ridiculous in nature, it would seem that a third summit with North Korea is going to be a thing. In fact, North Korea seems fairly upbeat about this. Uh, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and U.S. President Donald Trump agreed at their meeting on Sunday to push forward dialogue for making a new breakthrough in the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, North Korean state media said on Monday. Trump became the first sitting U.S. president to set foot in North Korea on Sunday when he met Kim in the demilitarized zone between the two Koreas and, agree and agreed to resume stalled nuclear talks. Uh, the top leaders of the two countries agreed to keep in close touch in the future, too, and resume and push forward productive dialogues for making a new breakthrough in the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula and in the bilateral relations. The meeting initiated by a, by a tweet by Trump that Kim said took him by surprise displayed the, the rapport between the two, but analysis said they were no closer to narrowing the gap between their positions since they walked away from their summit in February in Vietnam. Yeah, and Mike Pompeo had a lot to do with that, believe me. The North Koreans felt his attitude during the whole thing was inappropriate. It's literally his fault. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo told reporters shortly before departing South Korea that a new round of talks would likely happen sometime in July, and the North's negotiators would be foreign ministry diplomats. Well, we're already in July, albeit it's only July 1st. So, let's just hope that Mike Pompeo's uh, optimistic statement holds true. And that everything goes well. In a photo released by KCNA on Monday, North Korea... North Korean Foreign Minister Ri Yong-ho uh, and Pompeo are shown sitting next to Kim and Trump, respectively, in Freedom House, the building in which the two leaders had their one-on-one -on -one talks. KCNA said that during the chat between Trump and Kim, the two leaders explained issues of easing tensions on the Korean Peninsula, issues of mutual concern, and interests which became a stumbling block in solving those issues, and voiced full understanding and sympathy. Kim said it was the good personal relationship he had with Trump that made such a dramatic meaning possible at just one day's notice, and that the relationship with Trump would continue to produce good results, according to KCNA. Man, if you can have such a good uh, a good relationship with a dictator and, uh, and tyrant like Kim Jong Un, I don't know how to feel about that. On one on one, that makes me hopeful, but on the other, that actually freaks me a little out a little bit about Trump. If you can hang out so loosely and so friendly with a dictator, what does that say about him? Hmm. The two leaders' uh, bold, brave decision that led to the historic meeting created unprecedented trust between the two countries that have entangled in deeply rooted animosity. UN Secretary General Antonio Gutierrez welcomed the meeting between Trump and Kim and fully supports the continued efforts of the parties to establish new relations towards sustainable peace, security, and complete and verifiable denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. UN spokesman uh, Stefan Dujeric said in a statement. China also welcomed the meeting with a foreign ministry spokesman describing it as constructive and achieving positive results. But problems could lie ahead. Of course they are. Just, just when you think things sound too optimistic, uh, the harsh reality hits you right in the face. The fact that nuclear talks have jump-started is very encouraging, but that doesn't mean that the two sides have already adjusted their positions and set the conditions for successful working-level negotiations," said Kim Hyun-wook, a professor at the Korean National Diplomatic Academy. Trump's national security advisor, John Bolton, dismissed a report in the New York Times on Monday that Washington is seeking to soften its approach, floating an idea of accepting a nuclear freeze instead of complete dismantlement and giving tacit recognition that North Korea is a nuclear state. I read this NYT story with curiosity, Bolton said in a tweet. Neither the National Security Council staff nor I have discussed or heard of any desire to settle for a nuclear freeze by North Korea. This was a reprehensible attempt by someone to box in the president. There should be consequences. There will be blood! Give me the blood! No, seriously, that's... That's how he sounds in my head. 
because he's straight. John Bolton is straight up a war hawk. He would love a new Korean War because he would stand to gain a lot in terms of personal power, as would all the politicians currently in office. Of course, uh, we'd be alienating South Korea at this point. Personally, I think he's overreacting somewhat to the New York Times article. A nuclear freeze is still better than uh, than full, it's still better than nothing, right? It may not be a full denuclearization, but I think I'd rather have a nuclear freeze than a nuclear winter. See what I did there? Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's the New York Times. They're well known for making articles that seem inane and ridiculous. I mean, it's the New York Times. It's what they do. So, at this point, I think you should just accept that at face value that they're going to write shit like that. But, you know, John Bolton is probably one of the biggest jackasses we have in the government today. And not just because he's a war hawk, but really just because, you know, he overreacts to every little thing. He acts like he's Trump's best friend, but really he should be more like Trump's worst enemy. I actually respect that the president has been trying to keep us out of war versus uh, John Bolton who wants us to be in war. Trump could have attacked, legally attacked, uh, Iran over the downing of that drone, but he didn't do it. And what that says to me is, is that Trump is not a neocon and he doesn't want war. Yeah, he wants to go around bullying and harassing other nations with uh, with threats and tariffs and sanctions and all that. But an actual physical altercation, he's been clearly trying to avoid. It's a step in the right direction. Not far enough you know, towards actual an actual peaceful uh, United States that's no longer attacking the rest of the world. But it is a step in the right direction. So I will take it. It's not perfect, but I'll take it. Anyway, let's hope this next North Korean meeting goes well. <laughs>